the Jeff Fox Radio Show. Welcome, welcome everybody once again. This is the second time around the Jeff Fox Show, Rep Yo City TV. Fish, I believe the devil is in the building. What? <laughs> the devil is in the building. They trying to sabotage us. They trying to silence us. We will not be silenced. Yes, sir. The revolution will be televised. Well, let's go, Jeff. Black Lives Matter, man. You know what I'm saying? Wear it up. I'm wearing the shirt tonight. Here in the studio. What's up, man? You good? We good? Yeah, we good, man. Let's rock and roll. All right, man. So we restarted the show because, you know, we had some issues, but it is what it is. Make sure you check us out right here on Rep Your City TV. Shout out to everybody that's in the big house. Hi, Stephanie Shepard from the Bahamas. Love you. Always showing love to the show. What's up to my big brother, Harold Williams? Who's in the Bahamas? Man, we can't mess up now, Fish, because my brother watch it. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know he going to judge me. Well, he better hope the internet don't mess up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, y'all might have to help us out with that. Speaking of helping us out, show us some love on the Cash App. Yeah. All right? Radio host one, Cash App. You know, send your boy $5, $10, $100, $1,000, whatever you feel like. Woo. Yeah, people out there balling, man. They balling. You know, y'all got them stimulus checks. What? Stimulus checks. So, yeah, hit us up. Hit us up. Share the show. Share the link. Uh, share the uh, the watch party also from Rep Yo City TV. And, Fish, we've been gone for a minute. Yeah. But we're back with the jump off. We back. I got goons in the club. In the club. In case something jumps off. Oh, okay. Let's I go wrote, then. I wrote that myself. Okay. <laughs> A uh, little Kim action right there. Vince Wright, the sports governor in Minnesota, is in the house. In the building? Yes, he's he's showing love right there on the live feed, man. Aaron Kusher, uh, Tia. Uh, my brother said we good. He said I'm good. My okay. brother said I'm good. For now. For now. And for now, man, because you never know with these uh, internet people around here. They trying to stop us, but they can't stop the movement. The movement is on. The movement is real. The movement is worldwide. We're going to get into some Black Lives Matter stuff on the show here tonight because we ain't having it, Fish. Did you see them brothers go up there in Georgia in Stone Mountain? Oh, yeah. With the machine guns? Yeah, chop a city out. <laughs> yeah, chop a city. Oh, them brothers, you know, scared a lot of white folks, man. I'm just saying it shouldn't. Because they're not scared when they see a bunch of white guys with machine guns. As of a matter course. of fact, I don't want to see nobody with machine guns, to be honest. But if they're going to get machine guns, we got them. We're going to get some, too. I mean, it is what it is, man. Don't start, there won't be none. You know what I'm saying? My daddy whoop your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. My daddy whoop your daddy any day of the week. Anyway, uh, the story that bothered me in the last week was August Alcina. Knocking boots with uh, Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett. Bam, bam. And they just destroyed the internet. They, they just took over social media. Wow. And August said, Will said I can have some. Yeah. And, I mean, he just went out there and snitched, and everybody got mad. My boy Frank Cornelius got mad. I know you didn't think it was cool. Yeah. You know, you know, you don't suppose to kiss and tell August Alcina. But August, August said, man, I ain't never had nothing that good. Wow. He said, Jesus, you could take me right now. Wow. He been to the mountaintop. Wow. <laughs> ain't never had nothing that good. Never. Don't believe me? Just watch. August Alcina. I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation due to the transformation from their marriage to life partnership that they've spoken on several times and it, you know, not involving romanticism. Mm -hmm. He gave me his blessing and I, I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life, you know, and I truly and really, really deeply loved and have a ton of love for her. Um, I, I devoted myself to it. I gave my full self to it. So much so to the point that I can die right now and be okay.
Man, damn. August said I could die right now. I don't know, man. Internet tripping tonight with these videos. But it is what it is. Dude said um, he can die right now, Fish. And he can die right now. Yeah, he's he's seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Like, wow. I, I, uh, I, uh, uh, he ready to go. I, I, I don't know if I want anything that good. Like, <laughs> You know, they're going to make you just. I can die I mean, right I'm now. In, I'm in love. I loved. I put my. I put myself and my heart into that relationship. Wow. You know what they call that in the streets? Will Smith. Pussy whooped. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call it. I know this is a family show, y'all. I'm sorry. I should have said that. I'm sorry. But that's what they call it. Did you think Will really blessed them? Yeah, Will, Will said it's cool. It was cool. Will said, I believe it. You believe it? Yeah. Yeah. I just think, you know, again, August told, and he, and, look, and he, he looks looked sincere, man. Man, he looked different. He even looked like one of their kids right now. You yeah, see his yeah. head? Yep, 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 yep. Wait, what's going on? So so here's the latest on that story. Going on? Here's the latest on that story. Will uh, Jada Pinkett's mom said that we don't need to be putting celebrities on pedestals. You wow. know, she said, you know, people make mistakes and, you know, don't put people on pedestals and all that. Sound like Jada was doing some hanky-panky stuff with the young boy. Yeah. And um, she blew his mind. Yeah. And I seen pictures of them. All over town. Come on, man. Hanging out. So, I mean, she didn't, you know, she said she's going to do a show on her her, her um, social media show, The Red Table. Yeah. And she's going to just tell everybody the truth. Tell the truth. You know, uh, Jada, it, it's cool. It's cool. Will, holler at me, all right? I might want to ask you a little favor. <laughs> just, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> You know, That's I'm a, a good one. I, I might want to set it off up in this bitch, you know. <laughs> Jada Pinkett setting off. See what I did right there? Yeah. Set it off. Yeah. Set it off. <laughs> Speaking of setting it off, Fishman, I used to hate Duke basketball. Yeah. I used to hate Duke basketball because they had all the good white players. <laughs> I, did, I liked the Fab Five from Michigan. I liked uh, Larry Johnson and UNLV. I liked Georgetown. At least you're they, honest. They had all the brothers. I'm not racist, but I just didn't like Duke because all they had was a bunch of white boys and that one good black dude. One. Yeah, that one good black dude was on the team, Grant Hill, and everybody else was white. And it seemed like they would always get the calls, and and that goes back to years. Wow. Childhood years. Now, Coach K, I forgive you. Duke, you are off the shit list. You are good now. Coach K, Black Lives Matter. Coach K said it. Duke basketball said it. And we will salute Duke basketball. You are good with black folks in America. You are good with all of us. We have no problem with you. You can get all the great white boys you want from the suburbs, from the city, from the hood, and put on your team. And it, it, You can even have an all-black team. I, I think it's pretty much been like that now since the uh for the new days but i'm good with coach k right now uh, i forgive him because coach k like Luke, nick saban at alabama they've all come around and nascar and all these people mm -hmm. they realize fish black, black lives, lives matter. matter coach k black lives matter say it can't you say it black lives matter we should be saying it every day. It's not political. This is not a political statement. It's a human rights statement. It's a fairness statement. Over the last couple months, I have had an opportunity to see more, to listen more, to think more, and to understand at a deeper level. So have you. Yeah. So have you. And do we not see the problem, the disease, the plague that has been with our country for four centuries? Do we not see systemic racism and social injustice? Come on. We all see that. It's manifested in so many ways. Criminal justice, the killings, 
that we have seen and we haven't seen. And the denial of economic opportunities for our black community, educational opportunities, health care. It's manifested in so many ways and has been there for four centuries. You know, we see that. And what we do when we see it, we talk, all right, we, but we turn the other way. We don't solve the problem. The problem will not be solved, and no problem is solved unless you acknowledge the problem. Acknowledge it. If you acknowledge it, you have the duty to solve it. We as a country have the duty to solve this problem. When I was a cadet at West Point, and the prayer is still there, there's a cadet prayer. In the cadet prayer, one of the segments of the, of the prayer says, Lord, help me choose the harder right. Help me choose the harder right instead of the easier wrong. We as a country have chosen the easier wrong for four centuries. It is time to choose the harder right. It is time to end systemic racism and social injustice. It's time. Black lives matter. It's time, baby. I feel you, Coach K. You are good. You are forgiven. All right? Christian Layton, I forgive you. Bobby Hurley, I forgive you. Uh, Danny Ferry, uh, Carlos Boozer, Grant Hill. Who else went to Duke? Uh, damn. Uh, who's that dude that played for the Clippers? Uh, played in. Uh, anyway, all those corny ass dudes that played the Duke. I forgive all of y'all. Y'all good. Because black lives do matter. <laughs> I mean, nobody liked Duke growing up, bro. Everybody hated Duke. But we can't hate him no more. Can't hate him. You know, Duke then woke up. Woke. They they are with the program, man. We woke. Even Nick Saban at Alabama, the Crimson Tide. Yeah. They they all about Black Lives Matter. The mayor quit. The mayor up there in Alabama like, I'm not with no Black Lives Matter. And Nick Saban and them is with it. Shout out to Rodney man. Rodney says word on the street is Will and Jada been swinging for years. Yeah, that is a word. So you can get some. You know, you can get some, you can get some, everybody can get some. That's how Will and Jay to get down. What up to DJ Tight? For sure. One of the hottest DJs in the city. Let's go. You check him out. He's always live. DJ Tight does a gospel mix on Sundays. Yeah, I saw it a lot. That's I'm, nice. I'll be tuned in. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. That's for Auntie and them. Auntie. They'll be watching the show. You know, they be doing what they what they do. Um, I told you the uh, NBA is in Orlando. In about uh, July 30th, Fish, they're going to be starting the season again. Okay. Basketball is back. And folks are saying that the Miami Heat got as good a chance to win the championship as anybody. All right? Wow. Vegas say the Lakers going to win. I don't know. It's something about <laughs> when you say Miami Dolphins with the 1972, the Miami Heat. They right. Were, they was going there. And then COVID-19. COVID-19 messed it up for everybody, man. Wow. You know, and uh, the Miami Heat, like I said, they're up there in Orlando. All the teams, 22 teams, a lot of ball players already have the coronavirus. I don't know how they're going to finish the season. Um, coronavirus. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, my boy Stephen A. Smith, though, they're going to have all the players in the bubble. And Stephen A. isn't worried about who's going to win the championships. Stephen A. is wondering if all those players, you know, all those men's in them, yeah. All those menses, men's not locked up in the bubble. Yeah, no cheerleaders, no strippers, you know, no holes by the hotel and stuff. Just none of that. Okay. Can they be faithful? Can they go two and three months without no trim? Wow. I mean, and Stephen A. actually came out and said this on national TV. <laughs> like, this is the funniest video Stephen A. has ever made. He's like, I, uh, I don't know if they can do it. <laughs> Take a look. Here's the reason 
and you got to be worried. I wanted to hold up for saying this, y'all, but I can't oh, hold no. it no more. Do, do we really think that our, uh, the recreational activities, uh, uh, what these guys are accustomed to, are going to be compromised for three months? I mean, somebody's got to say it. Somebody's got to say it. You really, really think that people are going to be without their wives or their woman? Okay. I mean, the guys that are married without their wives, the guys that ain't married without their women. You really, really think they honor in a bubble for three months and are going to deprive? Somebody got to tell the truth. Stephen A., they've they set up, they set up ping pong See, they're, they're, they're allowed, they're allowed of, to bring their significant other down there after a month. Hey, listen, after a month, I just said forget three months. They going to struggle with three weeks. Why you think they wanted Vegas? Listen, but can we stop? Can we stop? The issue right now is that you in Orlando for the first month. You got to, you got to be alone. Stephen A., how are they going to do? Smuggle in record. women and birthday I, I, cakes? How do you think they're getting them in there? Hey, 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 hey listen. Hey, listen. I'm not ruling out hey. anything, Max. Anything's possible. Hey, Max, I mean, let's, let's just call now. it what it is. Let's just call they're it what it tunnel, is. I mean, somebody got to tell the truth, the man. Somebody got to Listen. Listen, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not, Tuttle please don't get bubble. me wrong, I, I, I would never, I would never do that, I'm not implying that anything salacious, I mean, I, like I said, if you're married, I'm talking about your wife, if you're single, I'm talking about your girl, All, I'm only, the only point that I'm trying to make here is, you ask your dudes to go weeks, weeks, no, w w without, <laughs> and I'm saying, and I'm just saying, that's hey, Molly. my challenge, I don't know. I'm just getting squirmish thinking about it, Fish. <laughs> I, I can't. After about five days, what's the longest you can go without some cookies? Well, man. I mean, that's a little TMI, but fellas out there, if y'all want to jump in the comments and let me know, what's the long? Can you go three months? Without some cookies? Without some cookies. Ooh. That's a long time, bro. That's a long time. It depends. And, it and, depends with me how my money running. And we talk about NBA players. Now they are accustomed to getting cookies. Ooh. NBA players. NBA players. You've been to the Miami Heat games with me. You sat on the side. Well, we'd be upstairs in the media room. But if you ever go near the court and you sit right behind the team. Yeah. Is nothing but honeys all around the court. Why yeah. you think? Why you think LeBron's wife wanted to leave? South Beach is no joke. Wow, black honeys, Puerto Rican honeys, white honeys, just and they just you know staring and winking at the ball players. And a lot of times NBA players could be like, all right, that one over there, row seven, yeah, right there, row seven, yeah, have a comfortable. How easy it is for them to get drip. Wow. Now you want them to go in the bubble for three months or whatever and play some basketball. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> um, uh, let's give a shout-out to Maya Moore. Maya Moore. Maya Moore won four championships in the WNBA with the Minnesota Lynx. All right. Maya Moore gave up playing basketball in 2017 in the prime of her career at the top of her game. She went to, she stepped aside because she wanted to help some brothers and she realized Black, Black Lives, Lives Matter. Matter. And that's what she wanted to do get on the side there and, and help brothers wrongly imprisoned like Jonathan Irons. And just last week, Maya Moore accomplished it, uh, Fish. She got this man that was supposed to do 50 years in the pen. And Maya Moore, the champion that she is, fought the justice system, and she won. Because wow. that's what Maya Moore does. All she does is win. Win. Let's take a look at the reunion when the brother got out. Because that's another passion. <gasps>
was supposed to do 50 years, man, and Maya Moore got him out of jail, man. Wow. I love you, Maya Moore. You know, you are a champion. Steve Kerr said it of the Golden State Warriors. That was like a very, very heartwarming story. And I just want everybody to hear the tears. Those were tears of joy. You know? That brother was rotting away in prison and had no hope. And Maya Moore said, look, basketball, I didn't want championships in the pros. I didn't want championships in college. Let me go help some brothers out. And I appreciate that, Maya Moore. Speaking of helping brothers out, don't forget us on the Cash App. I, I keep enforcing that because you see this fancy-ass studio here? This costs money, so show us some love. All right? Radio Host One on the Cash App in case you want to donate to the cause right here. And speaking of winning fish, the COVID, we're not winning the battle here in Miami. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, you, yeah, you can't go to school. What you going to do in regards to, because uh, Trump was like, y'all going to send y'all kids to school, damn it. And that's <laughs> it. You know, and, and little Jeff Fox ain't going nowhere, bro. I he, Mask or not, I ain't sending my kids to school. Online it is. Online. Yeah. And I don't care what he says. Yeah. Can't kill my kids. No, nah, man, can't do it. Nah. Won't do it. No. Nah. You know, so... A lot of college students don't know what they're going to do. Uh, we don't know we're going to have high school sports, uh, college sports. Did you hear something about half of Miami shutting down today? We need to find you out. You were telling about me about that. that. Uh, I'll have to check that after the show, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really out. sure about that. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. You know, and I, I miss I miss college football. I miss sports already. I miss my Miami Hurricanes. Wow. The last time I felt good being a Miami Hurricane fan, about two or three years ago at Hard Rock Stadium, I think we were playing the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, and the stadium was jam-packed. A lot of I, It was a top-five matchup, Miami, Notre Dame. We hate Notre Dame. And we whooped that ass. Remember? Adams is back in the game. Delivers a dart, intercepted. Look out, Trajan Bandy, the true freshman. Break out. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Uh, the glory, the pageantry. We're going to miss that, man. All we've been doing, ESPN is showing, like, um, sports, video game sports now. Like wow. that, yeah. No. Nah. And they got some other basketball league I've been watching and stuff, man. It ain't going to be the same. The COVID done messed up everything. Twenty, What's this year? 2020? 2020 got to kick, kick, kick rocks, man. 2020 got to go. By the way, if you are a recording artist, especially a local artist here in Miami, uh, we want you to get at us. Email me, G-E-T-D-A-T-T-E-A at Gmail here on the Jeff Fox Show. I want to support you. I want to support local artists. I believe in supporting local artists. So if you got a hot video, uh, if you got your business you want people to know about, you know, I see a lot of brothers and sisters opening different types of businesses. Kudos to you, man. Reinvent yourself. Don't sit back and wait on a stimulus check. Find something to do. Open a business, you know, and make sure that black people, black folk, since Black Lives Matter, make sure we support you. Yeah. Let us know right here on the show. And uh, we'll definitely get out there and put you on front street. I want to shout out my man Bobby Washington, who's uh-huh. from Miami, and Jay Shin. Jay Shin. Yes, sir. Jay Shin also from Miami. They got a brand new video, and we're going to play it for you right here on the Jeff Fox Show, produced by Fish and Grits. Let's take a look at that video. It's called Close to You. All right? This is Jay Shin and Bobby Washington. Take a look and let me know what you think. In the chat room, hit your comments. Should I rush it or should I flush it? Let's Close go. to you. Let's take a look. Close to you. 
Yeah, baby. I gotta be close. Damn, Bobby Washington. Damn, Jay Shin. Yeah, look like we. What's up with that video, man? I guess the video froze on us again. Yeah. But um, it's playing now. It's playing here on the. Uh, no, nah, it froze. It froze. Yeah. Sorry about that, y'all. All right, all right. So scratch that. No Jay Shin. No Bobby Washington video. We'll we'll get we'll try to get it back in. Uh, you will get it back in. Okay. Fish says he's gonna, he'll get that video in for you guys um, before the end of the show. Shout out to my man, Big Phil, who's watching the show tonight. Phil, thank you for the shirt. Thank you for the shirt. And we got to get one for Fish. Why Fish? Because Black Lives, lives matter. matter. Black Lives Matter, man. And we all about it right here on the Jeff Fox Show. Shout out to my 305 Cigar Divas. They're watching the show as well. Coco is watching. Uh, Ivan Drago is watching as well. So let's fix that internet, man. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Jason, we get back to you guys, man. You know, we boys, I got you. Don't worry about it. Did you see the uh, video fish of the police officer at the airport? No. That smacked a uh, African American sister now. Wow. Some people said she invaded his face. Wow. She's all up in his face, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I, I just don't. I don't. I can't condone hitting a woman. Can you? I, I, I'm not with that. I don't. For what? He he hit her because, you know, bad cops, man. Cops behaving badly. Hit her. He hit her in her, hit her in something face. they've been wanting to do. You know, happened at the airport. I guess she didn't wear a mask. I don't know what it is, man. But people have been asking, acting really weird. I got to see this. Yeah, take a look. I'm sorry, man, but that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. You know, you don't Hell put your no. hands on a woman like that. Uh, the brother was fired uh, for doing that. Get him and, out of there. Yeah. And I'm telling you, man, like, everywhere I look, man, I see tension, racial tension in America. And I get it at Black Lives Matter. We're just trying to bring people's attention to something that's been going on for, what, four centuries? Hell yeah. You know? This ain't nothing new. We're just bringing it to your attention now. George Floyd was the lightning rod. Yeah. He, everybody feels like because Black Lives Matter now, you got Blue Lives Matter, you got All Lives Matter. It's, all lives do matter, but until Black Lives Matter, all lives can't matter. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. you know. And now you heard about Karens, right? <laughs> they, they got, they're out there calling people Karens and stuff and because like white folks, some white folks, not all, but some white folks have lost their minds. Like, nobody's coming after you. We just want you to recognize, hey, black folks have had it hard. Yeah. That's all. You know, and uh, there, every day you wake up, you will see a new video mm -hmm. of a black person and a white person going through some drama. Wow. You know, Sad. don't believe me? Just watch. You're moving because it's illegal at this hour. Please record your moving furniture. Record your man. Record your man moving furniture. Hang on, I'm gonna get my camera to record you and your robe. Good. Go ahead. But you've been screaming since what time? Have we? You just moved in. You're the one screaming right now. You just moved in. 
Where's the one screaming making a scene? Yeah, you're the one you that had the police. You are dumb niggers making a scene, dude. Oh, right there. That's a racist. I'm going to find out where you work and you're going to lose your job where for I saying work, that. I get paid by the government. Yeah, baby. You can't say that word. Really, nigger? <gasps> dude. You're a nigger, honey. Oh, my God. Do you think because oh, you're not right. brown you're not a nigger? What the fuck is wrong with you? Um, niggers waking me up at 4? No, I'm sorry, 3.30? Yeah. Hang on, I got a phone too, babe. I'm going to call the cops. Good, call them. Are you getting in your car drunk, bro? Are you just high on meth? High on meth? That's you. You're the one with no teeth. I said this is hard to watch, man. Fish. I mean, what's with these? What? What? What is with all the confrontation? Man, some of these motherfuckers need to just get slapped. I'm, they getting slapped? They getting punched? See, I, I get it. You know, people say that Donald Trump has empowered a lot of white folks to. Just come out of the closet. Take the hoods off. Yep. We all been racist. You know? I don't like you, darky. You know, yeah. we... we Nigger. You know, if, if you don't do that, I, I can even respect Trump a little bit because I know he don't like us. But so my thing is don't pretend. And don't come mm-hmm. after people and bother people if you're racist. Donald Trump has bodyguards. You don't. <laughs> you know? So you may want to, you know, reconsider calling somebody an N-word before you get your ass whooped. For sure. You know? Nigga. And it's just, it's, it's just, Stephanie Shepard says it's hard to watch. And Wow. And Stephanie was set, telling me about, uh, what's the name of that place you were telling me about, Stephanie? Jimmy John's or something? Where they made a noose? Made out of flour, the place where they made donuts and stuff, they made a noose out of it. Are you for real? Yeah. I mean, this 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 racial stuff is bad. It's bad. And I did, and under eight years of, of Obama, which my uh, cousin Rodney Dimmitt man says, eight years of Obama, we know, I never saw any of this stuff on the news. Never saw any of it on social media. Wow. Now it's every single day that you turn on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, you see some Racial incident going down. Wow. It's ridiculous, man. Shout out to uh, Hurricane Get Down. Get down in the uh, building. Get down, Hurricane Get Down. Sharing the show tonight. Make sure you share the link, Hurricane. And if you love what you're watching, man, you're feeling the show, give us a thumbs up. Give me a, give me some love uh, on the hearts right there. All right, shout out to Gus in New York. Uh, Gus is watching the show as well. Gus says, that ain't right, man. All this racial tension. Yeah. Is wrong. And you know what else is wrong, Fish? What? The police beating us up. I mean, this been going on forever. We got to start back beating their ass. I mean, you seen the Rodney King video from 92? You That could be yesterday. It's still happening. And this next video, I, I'm sorry, man, but I got, you know, I got to, this is what I have to do as a radio host, TV host. I got to tell the truth. This is a young man, Fish. A kid. Wow. Who could have been my kid? My kid is does the same thing. Walks around with headphones, you know. Um, got the dreads on top. I try yeah. to get him to cut it, but he he don't want to cut it. Mm. And I get it. I'm his dad. I don't really want to be too hard on him, but that gonna get you profiled, Mm-mm-mm. you know. And the cops can see you, and they can just mess with you for no reason. No reason. Take a look at this video, man. With this poor young kid getting beat up by the police. But that was some other ra- racial uh, attack. I don't know what the hell that was. Uh, and just know it was another fight. Uh, damn, yeah, we got fights all through the show. Hurricane says, yo. Fish, so he wants to give you a shout out. What up, Hurricane? You, you know I Hurricane, see you. You know Hurricane is here. Do we have the video? Oh, okay, that was the, the lady in the, uh, smacked at the airport again. That's not cool. We don't condone that. Let that brother get fired. We're looking for the police beating up the kid. Um, the police? 
Yeah, police beats, beats up this kid. This kid is like a teenager. Are you kidding? Yeah, just like, I mean, my son's age, you know, and it, I can tell he's a young man, and, and, and we're, yeah, we're getting the angry looks right now from people because they don't like it, but it's happening every day. Wow. All right, so we got the corona, and now we got to worry about the cops whooping our ass. They, just take a look. You don't, you don't, I'm, I didn't commit any crime, so can you, you get over me? What crime did I commit? Come on, stop moving. Can you? I'm recording, I'm watching. Tell me. Alright, you're holding me by my, I guess my wish is going Yo, yo, bro, stay still. What's the word? Take it off. Yo, what crime did I commit? Alright, look, you see you? Oh, bro. What crime did I commit? Look, you about to hurt me? You about to hurt me? What did I do? What did I do? Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. What did I do? I did not do anything. Don't move. 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 Don't fish hell yeah hurricane so that's some gang shit yeah that is some gang shit you know when you really think about it it's like come on man it look, look like they talking at night waiting for action what kind of i mean what kind of, that's a child man and he started calling he started calling on the lord wow i mean i can't imagine being that young and about 15 officers Ten officers jumping all over me, and you're a kid? Yeah. That ain't right, man. That ain't right. So if you guys you want to know why we walk them down the streets and we burn this shit up, Black Lives Matter. Stop doing that. And wow. And I'm telling you, did you see those brothers? Did I mention it earlier on this one or the the last one about the brothers that came out with the guns in Georgia? Oh, man. See, I wish we, we would have had the, those clips. This, yeah. I, I should have put that one in the show. Yeah. That's on me. But them brothers... Like, you know, don't start none, won't be none. We don't want to see a race war. You know, but when you got a president that every time he he's promoting it, you know, and he just see what he did. He he kept you remember when he used to say Obama this, Obama that, Obama this. 
he was trying to get Obama to answer, but Obama was smart enough because he knew he was trying to put a race war on. Well, well, Stephanie says, I'm so happy that people have phones to film what is going on in this world. Now we have proof, and this shit has to stop. I'm with you, Stephanie. It has to stop. <clears throat> and we got the wrong president right now. Number third, people, don't complain. Vote. 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 Like I told them, rep your city and vote. Yeah. And don't only vote for the president. Vote locally. Yeah. You know, vote for your councilmen, your, 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 you know, your, your mayors. Uh, that's your voice. You know, you want to see some changes? Make changes. You know? And then and Trump talking all this mess, man, Fish, you know, trying to force us to go to school trying to force us to send our kids to school, and there's a pandemic going on out there. Hello? Is he Annie? He doesn't even know the Constitution. Is he the Annie Christ? <laughs> what is he? I have called him that. I think he might He's be. He's acting. And, and if you're Republican, I'm sorry. If you're Republican, I don't know how you could support this guy. If you supported Mitt Romney... Uh, if you supported Herman Cain, by the way, get 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 well, uh, Herman. Herman has uh, Herman Cain. Yeah, Herman Cain is my boy. I know Herman Cain. People are like we don't like Republicans. Yes, we do. I love Herman Cain. Herman. Herman you know you know why I love Cain. Herman Cain. Herman Cain ran for president before, right? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> did you ever see the Cat Williams stand up when he say Herman Cain? <laughs> Let me tell you what I love about Herman Cain. I love Herman Cain because Herman Cain had a wife and the jump off for over 20 years. Wow. And everybody was happy. Wow. And he ran a pizza empire. Tell me he can't balance the budget. Yeah. You know how to keep two women happy for over 20 years? Yeah, he can balance the budget. <laughs> oh, he can balance the budget, man. That's called multitasking, brother. That's multitasking right there. I love that brother right there. And you know who else I love, man? Who that? Barack Obama. Number 44. Number 44. Imagine if he was a president today. You think we would have had this um, this crisis with the, with the, pen, the pandemic? Maybe. But I think yeah. he would have had a better, better handle on it. Yeah. He would have talked with sense. And we wouldn't have all this racial tension. All this black versus white that's going on, I never saw it in eight years under Obama. Wow. You know what I saw under Obama? Grace. Wow. Amazing grace. Yeah. You know, whenever there was conflict, Obama just knew what to say. Wow. Whenever there was, like, something terrible happened, he acted presidential. Wow. Take a look at this one. He's Whatever he had to do, he did it. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. That say a wretch like me, I was worth all of that. Found that grace. Cynthia Hurd found that grace. Susie Jackson found that grace. Ethel Lance found that grace. The Payne Middleton doctor found that grace. Taiwanza Sanders found that grace. We found that grace. Barack Obama found that grace. Fish, that is called empathy. And Gus from New York sure. says uh, Trump lacks empathy. He don't feel sorry for nobody. 
No. Trump said if y'all don't go to school, coronavirus, coronavirus or not, uh, I I will uh, you know I will withhold funds from you or whatever. He don't even know the law. What he, about what he, a, don't, he can't do that. He can't do that. So anyway, man, I don't know what this dude is thinking about. But I don't. You don't never know what he can do. He try everything else. Yeah, uh, I just wish. Uh, you know, I just hope everybody remembers to vote, man. You know, whether you're Democrat or Republican, you know, go out there and uh, remember to vote. Did you hear the news about the new contract that your boy Patrick Mahomes signed? No. Patrick Mahomes of the Kansas City Chiefs signed a new deal, Fish, for $500 million. Make a man. $500 million dollars. That's a half a billion dollars, by the way. He's going to be quarterback of the Kansas City Chiefs for the next 10 years. Wow. Patrick Mahomes has got number. His... That's number 10, right? I don't know what I number he... he is. I, I, I hate the Chiefs. They won the Super Bowl. <laughs> I think he's number 15. I don't, Rodney, what number is Patrick Mahomes? I don't know. Ask Jeff Jr. All I know is he's paid. He's paid, Fish. He got his own money. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes is paid. Paid. Yes, sir. Take a look. He's rich. He is rich. What? He's got his own money. And, baby, when I tell you he's got his own money, I mean the boy has got his own money. Mm. You did it this time. You hit the jackpot. I think I'm a choke on this one, man. You hit, you did it this time, baby. You hit the jackpot. Five hundred million over ten wow. years. Wow, the richest contract in the history of the National Football League. All right, holla at your boy. Yeah, man. So that's a lot of dough, man. Yeah, that's a lot of dough. Uh, what we got next? That laughing dude. Uh, we could skip him if, if we do. Nah. Nah, I want to hear some Chris. Chris, yeah. Yeah. Chris, Chris. impersonating number 45. Oh, oh, no, he's not. Yes, he is. Chris Tucker, comedian, was on the uh, the British version of The Tonight Show. Um, and he did a great Donald Trump impersonation. He didn't say, you know, we're better. In fact, I'm not going to try to do it. Let Chris do it. Is Donald Trump your president? Uh, what, do you consider him your president? Stop. You, mean, <laughs> you mean Donald? Are you serious? Believe me. Believe, believe me. I know Chris Tucker. He's a great comedian, great guy. I like him. I'm, it's true. I do like him. I met him. Wait, I didn't say much, but I said... That's hilarious, man. That's hilarious, man. Chris Tucker doing Donald Trump. That's just how he talks every time. You know what I mean? Donald Duck. Oh, man. I wonder what my boy uh, Spice thinks of that. Spice, what do you think? What do you think? Is that funny to you? You like that? <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. Do, Give it do to me. Spice like it? Yeah. Spice Adams like laughing dude. Yeah. Uh, that was funny, man. That was funny. Um, so, so. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, Sp Spice saw that video and he just. Fell out laughing. It's <laughs> the Donald man. I, I, you know, I just, I just, I want, I want, you know, the, it's just gonna go away. It's gonna go away, fish. You know, it's a hoax. It's a hoax. It's not real. Uh, Dr. Fauci doesn't know what he's talking about. It's a hoax. It's going to go away, you know. And I just want all you kids to go to school. Or I won't send you any money. <laughs> and we'll take away your stimulus. Uh -oh. It's a hoax. Okay? Jeff, you got him down. It's, a, it's, a, it's, bit, it's huh? a hoax. It's a hoax. It's a hoax. <laughs> Jeff, you got him down. Uh, you know, I actually, I don't hate the Donald, man. I, I actually like the brother, man. He's funny to me. But he should be on TV. He shouldn't be the president of the United States. He should not be.
He should be on TV. By the way, here's something I saw during the BT Awards that was on TV, I think, last week. Yeah. Jennifer Hudson, who I got the hots for. Wow. I love me some Jennifer Hudson, man. Love me some Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson is going to be playing Aretha Franklin in a new movie coming out. Yeah? It's called R-E-S-P-E-C-T. That is what you give to me. And let me tell you, man, she killed it. She killed it. Check out the trailer of Respect with Jennifer Hudson. How many albums have you had? Four. And no hits. Honey, find the songs that move you. Until you do that, you ain't going nowhere. Aretha, you do talk, don't you? Not just sing. I'd like you to call me Miss Franklin. To disturb the peace when you can't get no peace. Girl, Jennifer Hudson, man, doing Aretha, man. Love me, Jennifer Hudson from, what was it, American Idol? Yeah. From the Shy, from Chicago. You know, so she's. That movie is going to be crazy. Uh, Rodney says that movie is going to be awesome. And they picked the right person for that role. Yeah, because she can she can sing, man. And she, man, she went and lost weight, man. Uh, you know us brothers, Fish. We like meat on the bone. We don't want all of our women 110, 115 pounds. No. Nah. I like them thicker than a snicker. Wow. Yeah. Ow. Meat on the bones, lady. Don't, don't go losing all that weight because y'all trying to look like, you know, um... Thin. <laughs> right, we, we like ass. We like thighs. You know, that's what we like. That's what black men like. You know. Uh, speaking of which, local artists, if you are a rapper, a singer, uh, submit your videos. Let me, you know, get at me. We tried to play the Jason video earlier. I think I got a bad copy of that, so I'll get another yes, one. Yes. <laughs> from Jason. Uh, Jason, I'm sorry. I'll make sure I get at you and you send me a good copy of your new video. But uh, there's another rapper. Coming from Miami, her name is Lady Rose. Rose? And, yeah, Lady Rose. And you can follow Lady Rose on Facebook. Um, Actually, where is Lady Rose info? Let me tell you where that is. Uh, yeah, connect. Lady Rose, connect with Lady Rose on Facebook. That's her Facebook page. Check her out. Check out on Spotify and all that stuff. My man T is promoting her tomorrow, uh, tomorrow. and uh, he's the one that got you uh, one time for the birthday check, you know, and all them other great songs. Okay, he's the promoter doing that. He and I go way back from I was DJing at Foxy Lady. So uh, let's check out a little piece, just a little piece of Lady Rose's video. Everybody know me, Miss Sassy, so damn raw, and my tits so flashy. Take a picture, I'll post for a quick shot. Click, click, goddamn, this is hot. Give me room, let me see what's up. Your girl up in here, so you see what's good. Staying true to the game, came through in the range. I'm that getting rich, so I'm doing my thing. So fresh, so clean. Hit the club, side, hot, blow green. Lady Rose in the neck, going freeze. Wrist so cold, and my ears on bling. A fly, little off the thing. So damn fly, and I'm off the chain. Now I'm a rose and vibe to this. And give me one more minute while I let these know that I'm that chick. What you think? 
You the one you play all that all the rap videos on on Rap Your City TV when you do the countdown and all that. Uh, should I we like, should I, we rush it or should we flush it? Well, I like to let the audience decide that. <laughs> okay, those of you watching, jump in the chat room. Let me know, Lady Rose. Should we rush it or flush it? Yeah, you know. Um, I think it sounds a lot like Cardi B and them. You know, uh, it got a great beat. Also, it got a, it got a great beat. And I love local artists. I love to support my Miami rappers. I love to support my Miami uh, singers and rappers. You know what I'm saying? That's what we here for. If, if you're from Miami, we're going to show you love on this show. Because Miami is where we're from. Miami is what we're all about. You know who else is from Miami? Who that? Joy Reid. You ever watch uh, MSNBC? Um, Every night. Uh, yeah. You know, CNN. What do you watch? Fox News? CNN. CNN. Okay, CNN. CNN. Joy Reid works for MSNBC now. She's the weekend morning anchor. And Joy Reid is about to make history, Fish. Yeah. She is going to be the first black woman to anchor a cable news show during prime time. What? The first black woman to anchor a cable news show during prime time. Wow. She's replacing uh, that Matthews dude that used to do uh, Chris Matthews. I uh, used to do hardball. Uh, he oh, got, yeah, I do remember Yeah, that. yeah, he got fired because he got the little, little case of the touchies. <laughs> touchies. <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the ladies. You can't you can't be touching the ladies, Chris. No, no, no. Definitely, definitely right now. You about to lose your job. And he did. <laughs> and you fired. Yeah, and Joy got that job, man. So Joy will be the first black woman to anchor a cable news show during prime time. We here at the Jeff Fox Show would love to congratulate Joy Reid, you know, from MSNBC, also from Miami, started here at WTPS with James T. And I remember, yeah, we, yeah she used to do a show with James T every morning. From Hot 105. That James T, yes. Wow. Joy Reid got some Miami. Listen, she's down with the Sports Brothers. Okay. Me and Ed, here's a clip of me on MSNBC with my girl, Joy Reid. What? Yep. Take a Let's look. see. Abilities are. Change that. The culture of people's individual ways of running their families. Well, it's difficult. I mean, uh, a lot of us have experienced that growing up as children uh, being, you know, they call them, you spare the rod, you spoil the child. A lot of people still believe in that. Um, I still believe in it. I just think that Adrian Peterson may have went too far with it. I mean, that child was four years old. There's no need to go that far and leave marks or open wounds or welts on a child like that. But certainly, um, I, I think that it is each parent's right to control the way they raise their child or they discipline their children. And I think that should stay that way. Congratulations, Joy Reid, man. She from Miami, dog. She from Miami. She represented... And she had me on MSNBC, on national TV, bro. MIA. MIA, doing it real big. By the way, folks, don't forget, social distance yourself. Uh, wear your mask. Wear your mask. You know, see, like, let me show you right here. Shout out to my neighbor, Marlene, for making this mask for me. You know how I look? Your neighbor made it? My neighbor made this. Yep. Wow. She wants me to be safe. You look like a damn dashiki. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, I love it, though. Yeah. Big shout out, Hurricane is still in the house. Hurricane said, rush that thing. Rush that thing. Okay. With uh, Lady Rose. So we got rush. Lady Rose. Lady Rose, you got a hit record, baby. Hurricane said, rush that. Rush that. That's Miami all day. All right, so I want, again, Fish, I want everybody to wear the mask, you know, um, because... It's just something that's going to save lives. And I want to send a big shout-out to my man Abe from, from um, what's the name of that club? G5. The Office. The Office. Yeah, G5. G5. He was even at... Um... The Mint. He was at the Mint for a while. Okay. And he's at Fox Lady. If you're wondering why we're mentioning Abe, Abe passed away last week. And uh, very popular guy. He had the COVID. Even that's why... Even he was at Iguanas. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, so wear your mask, man. Don't listen to that dude in the White House. Spotify. Don't, don't listen to him. 
You know, how are you going to hire Dr. Fauci and then you want to argue with him? Fish, that's like going to a carpenter yeah. whose job is to what? Build houses. And then you want to tell him how to build a house. <laughs> and he a carpenter. This is what Dr. Fauci does. He's 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 a, a med, you know he studies medicine. All of them part of the problem too. I don't know. Yeah, man. Fauci and all of them. They get what what the real problem is with forty five and Fauci. They want to forty five want to kill us first. <laughs> I mean, we <laughs> laughing, but I believe you, man. <laughs> he want to kill us first. Oh man, I don't know. I know, and the, the the real problem I'm having, Fish, is him trying to force us during a pandemic to send our kids to school. And wow. Florida, the the uh, hospitals are solid. They they're all um, they're all packed. You know what I'm saying? They're yep. all packed. All they're all full. All the hospitals everywhere. There's there's swole. There's no room yep. in the hospitals. Yep. You know, in Texas. They're running out of beds in Miami. They're running out of beds. Running out. And this dude tell it's going to be gone two weeks. Next week, it's, it's a hoax. It's just a hoax. It, it'll be over two weeks. Two weeks. Next week, you see. <laughs> you know? And he's going after Bubba Wallace. I mean, this dude just upsets me. Wow. You know? I, I, I made a call to R. Kelly, man. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I could <laughs> R. Kelly in the big house, he worried about getting the wrong. I asked R. Kelly, would, does he think it's okay for us to walk in public with no mask like 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 45 wants us to do? Here's what R. Kelly said. I didn't Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. <laughs> <laughs> Kel said, that's stupid. Use your common sense. Don't listen to 45, man. He's 45. Won't get us all killed. This dude wants to be a dictator, man. You know it, right? Oh, yeah. Of course. And I want to shout out all my friends, especially Oscar. I, Oscar, I got to give you a shout out, man. Oscar and Julio. Oscar and Julio are my boys, man. You know? Wow. And, and Oscar, he loves Trump. Love him. And I ain't mad at you, Oscar, because, you know, somebody got to be on this side. And somebody got me on that side. Right? But Oscar, my dog, man, we worked at 790 to ticket together. Big shout oh, out okay. to you. When all of this coronavirus stuff is over, bro, we're going to get together at the round table or one of these spots, and we're going to have us a drink. What? Yeah, we're going we gonna to have us a drink. Turn up. Yes, sir. Speaking of turning up, I got a video, man, that we're going to share for you right now. It's called Pass the Mic uh, by DJ... Uh, Cassidy, this is so creative. This is why I love being black because I think black people are the most creative people in the world, you know. And we can take anything and turn it into something. And here's the dude that went and did an old school mix, and then he got all the stars from the old school era, and he got them to jump in the video of him mixing their music. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, DJ Cassidy, pass the mic. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is DJ Cassidy, and I'd like to welcome you all to pass the mic. And this musical journey is brought to you by my musical heroes, and is dedicated to all the heroes around the world on the front lines of health, freedom, Justice. Now I'm gonna pass the mic from my home to the next. Spread love from one home to another. And let's get this celebration started. Sing it, Philip. I can feel that bass. <laughs> 
Fish, you know what? I that got me like feeling like I was at the round table on a Sunday again. Wow, man. you know, that was deep, man. Yeah, yeah. He he got. I like how I I love the setup. How he do yeah, it? Yeah, that was dope. That was dope, man. He got Stephanie. He got um, uh, what's her name? Cheryl Lynn. Yeah. He got uh, Bobby Brown. He got Bell Biv DeVoe. He got Slave walking down the street. Watching ladies, he got he got everybody up in there, man. So he did a fantastic job. Great. Uh, got Denise Williams in there, so it was it was dope, man. I like that, you know. And uh, we're gonna do on one of our shows, man. We're gonna bring some DJs to the studio. Yeah, that'll be cool. Local DJs and talk to them about what it is that they are doing. Remember, everybody, to show love on the Cash App. Uh, radio host one, radio host. All right, cash one. app, please, man. Radio host one, we we definitely need your support. We can't do it without you, and we do it for you, right here. And as always, remember that Black, Black Lives, Lives matter. matter. That's right, always will matter, right here on the Jeff Fox Show. Shout out to David Cotton. What's up, man? The official party starters in the building. Woo woo. Checking us out. Uh, I, I don't feel like leaving, man. Fish. I know we done ran through all the stuff, man, but I, I don't want to leave, man. Yeah. I don't want to leave, man. We should play some Refuge City videos. <laughs> That's what we should do. Man. Uh, <laughs> I had I, enough. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Thank you, everybody, man, for watching the show tonight. We appreciate you. Remember, local artists, get at me. If you got your videos, if you own a business that you want us to support, email us, contact us, me or Fish. The email is G-E-T-D-A-T-T-E-A at Gmail. All right? Get that T at Gmail. Hey, we gotta we gotta run, man. It's been a ball, but the clock on the wall, say that's all. And that's it. So we gotta get up out of here. And before I go, I want you to know that average minds talk about events. All right? Small minds talk about people. And uh Great minds, well, they know how to get it done. Remember that. All right? Great minds. Spin the ball. Fish, thank you so much, sir, for the fantastic job you did. All right? We're going to get up out of here, man. Peace, love, and soul to all of you. Thanks for watching the Jeff Fox Show on Rep Your City TV. See ya. Yeah, what's happening? It's the big boss, Ricky Ross. And right now, I got to salute my brother, none other than Jeff Fox. Ricky Ross, M.I.A. Yo, we paying homage to a real nigga, DJ Jeff Fox, forever. The Jeff Fox Radio Show.